hey guys welcome back to another hello kitty hunting video i can't wait to show you guys everything that i found i feel like i was able to show you guys a little bit more in this video just because the merchandise was starting to show back up in stores after inventory so let's get right into the hunting so first up was a tj maxx and as you guys could see they did have the spongebob tote bag so the hello kitty ones were already gone they also had those socks um, in the queue line that next morning i went back to the same tj maxx and they had the stanley backpacks which i was really excited about i did not know they were coming back out again but they were each 39.99 they also had this hello kitty mug these hello kitty valentine day cards they were 2.99 they also had these sponges i went to the target next door because i was looking for the strawberry and heart wireless mouses I did end up finding both, but then I went to Burlington and all they had was this Hello Kitty backpack. And here's day two of hunting and my first stop was Marshalls. And as soon as I walked in, they had this Valentine display. They didn't really have that much. The only thing that I saw was the white and pink measuring cups. I did want to check the blankets just in case, but the only cute one they had was this one with the lips on it. Later on that day, I did have to go to Kroger's to pick up a few groceries, and oh my gosh, you guys, they were fully stocked of Squishmallows. They had probably just put them out that day or the day before. They did surprisingly have the Valentine Squishmallow Squad. I also liked the Squishmallow too. She was so cute. Her name was Shelly. I think she was a stack of pink strawberry pancakes they also had a shun but it was a valentine's version where his little cheeks had hearts on them it was so cute and here's the hello kitty they also had cinema roll and uh my melody but i did not see kuromi they were each $13.99 and here i put all of them together so you guys could see how adorable they were then I headed to the Starbucks in the Kroger to see if they had any new cups, and they did. They had like this blue and ombre studded tumbler. They also had this glass one with the hearts. They also had the grid. And you guys, I was obsessed with this black one. It was so beautiful. But yeah, it was $30. I was like, oh. And here's hunting day three. And first up was home goods. And you guys they were already putting out easter i was like oh my gosh i'm not ready for easter yet i feel like we haven't gave valentine's its full potential but they did have a few valentine's also on this wall they also had a few pet toys then i headed to the end cap where they keep all the seasonal ceramics and they didn't have much at all i ended up heading to the burlington next door and all i saw was this valentine's tote bag I went to the five below and I found this cute little strawberry bowl. I went to the other side of the table and they had some more tumblers and bowls. And then on this little end cap, I found some Sanrio keychains and magnets. I ended up grabbing one of the magnets. They also had these Hello Kitty tumblers. And then in the end cap, they had these strawberry bags, which I thought were really cute. They also had these candied heart tumblers. They were so adorable, you guys. I can tell a lot of people liked them because there was only two left and they were only five dollars and as i was leaving i spotted this hello kitty lanyard i kind of regret not getting it it was so adorable they also had that hello kitty pin then i headed to dick's and they had the unreleased stanley tumblers here they had the new pastel tie-dye and like the solid periwinkle one and the 30 ounce then i headed to a tj and it was still empty from inventory but i did spot this adorable pink pillow it was only $29.99 I did want to see what kind of little plushies they had and they had a few cute ones I love that I love you a latte one and here's hunting day four and first up of the day was TJ Maxx and they did have a few things here the only thing that I saw were these Hello Kitty mugs they also had these gummy bear crossbody purses I think they were by Betsy Johnson they were only $24.99 they also had these Juicy Couture purses. I think that style is new. I also spotted this pink football crossbody. It was on sale for $18. And they also had this purse that kind of looked like the Stanley backpack. They also had put out these new Steve Mann purses. And in the queue line, they had more Hello Kitty mugs. 
they also had these adorable valentine slippers i love the one with the hearts i just wish the hearts were pink but they were only 12.99 i did like these but again i wish it was just like a bunch of pink hearts then i wanted to see what kind of tumblers they had they didn't really have that many i wanted to see if they had the new pink studded hello kitty one but i didn't see it they had these Hello Kitty mugs. I think we've seen these before. And then they also had this Squishmallow bowl. I thought he was so cute. I had it to a Marshalls and Home Goods after. And I spotted these Hello Kitty mugs. We've all seen these. But I think the one on the right was new because I've seen that mug, but her face was kind of 3D. It was really cute. And here I'm at Target and they restocked on the chocolates and the little Frappuccino candies. They also had put out new Squishmallows. I did not see these while I was here the last time, but it looks like they restocked and put out a few more things. I went to GameStop because I wanted to see if they had the Care Bears X Hello Kitty collab, but all the GameStops that I went to either didn't have it yet or they already sold out. And then after GameStop, I wanted to see what they had at the mall. Here I'm at Hot Topic and they had a few Valentine things out. But nothing that i was really looking for i wanted to see if they had the hello kitty valentine's mug because i knew they had it on their website but you guys right when you walk in all the sanrio stuff was there and i'm not gonna lie everything was pretty cute after hot topic i did want to see what they had at jd sports because you guys know i love nike dunks they did have a few cute styles i really did like this pair it was like gray and like a lilac pink I went to the GameStop inside the mall and it looks like they had just restocked on some Squishmallows but I didn't see any of the Hello Kitty X Care Bears collab. Then I went to Dick's and Ross and they had those cute socks. Here I'm at Burlington because I wanted to see if they had the new Strawberry Shortcake blanket but you guys the blankets were so empty. The only thing that I saw were those Care Bear shot glasses and they had a few glass cups, but that's pretty much it. They had a few mugs, but I literally only saw like one Hello Kitty tumbler and they had like other characters that we've seen before. I ended up finding another section of blankets, but of course they didn't really have anything here. After Burlington, I headed to TJ Maxx and they had a fresh tank out and they had these Hello Kitty mugs. It looks like they had stocked up a ton, which I was really happy to see. I couldn't wait till they started putting more merchandise out. And you guys, I was shook when I saw these chairs. I was not expecting to see these. They were each 129. If you guys have made it this far into my video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I do upload weekly and I do hunt for anything Sanrio, pink, and seasonal. Alright, let's get right back into the hunting. I went to the toys and they had a ton of Valentine Squishmallows. I went back to the ceramics and I did end up seeing this Joanna Parker mug. It's my favorite. They also had this Hello Kitty makeup bag and they had a ton of the Gummy Bear crossbody purses. They also had a few Steve Madden ones. And then when I was checking out, they had those cute Valentine pins. I did head to Marshalls and a Home Gets After to see if they had any of the Valentine blankets. But unfortunately, I didn't see them. They did have a lot though, so I was kind of hoping to see them. But I did end up spotting the new Hello Kitty toilet bowl scrubbers. <laughs> I was so shocked to see all of them just sitting there. But I did notice in... A lot of other people's pictures too that the brush was broken mm, that was pretty unfortunate but they're still cute then i headed to a walmart and i saw that they had a few hello kitty clothing items in the little girl section i really like this shirt I, I wish they made it in women's sizes but the price was pretty good it was only 5.98 and the sweater was only 11.98 but they did have like kiromi clothing items too but I do not know why they would make Kuromi booty shorts for little girls. I thought that was pretty weird. But I really did like this dress and sweatpants. And you guys, I was so happy to find the new Hello Kitty and Daniel pajamas. They were a size too big for me, but I was like, I don't care. I'll be comfortable. They were so cute. I had to grab them. And then I also saw that they had little girl dresses. It came in a pack of two for only 
And here's the next day, and first stop was Home Goods. They ended up stocking up on the Valentine bath towels. Then I went to the Marshalls next door, and they had a few Hello Kitty beauty items. But you guys, look at all these Hello Kitty signs that they had on a fresh tank. I really did like this one that said the good vibes on it. They also had a few more. And then after Marshalls, I headed to Dick's because I wanted to see if they had the new pastel pink and mint um stanleys that were releasing but i didn't see them but then i headed to a tj maxx after and i was so happy to find the hello kitty studded tumblers i couldn't believe that they were only 9.99 but in the queue line they also had a ton of hello kitty mugs that we saw at the other location they also had this cute kiropi one and i loved that one with the hello kitty and daniel they also had these steve madden purses that the other locations had as well I went to Burlington after and I really didn't see much, only these Hello Kitty mugs. I thought the red one was super cute. I headed to CVS after. I wanted to see if they put out any new Valentine things out, but they didn't. They only had the slippers left and all the pants were gone. But I did find this Crim Shop Hello Kitty mascara. I had been looking for this forever. But that is it for this week's video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe down below.